body, mentally, physically, emotionally, everything is intact. Everything is, is, is ready to go, you know what I mean? I barely even want to talk about this no more. I'm, I'm so tired of talking about it. I want to show action now, you know? Okay. But that's just the transformation of it. And, um, you know, less than a month away, we're going to be ready. Tyson Fury, he, he don't know what he's um, – he don't know what he's he gotten himself into. I don't say getting. He said he was training. He was training with bears up there in Big Bear. Well, I hope he, he better be hugging them, wrestling them, and kissing them as well too, because um, he, he's definitely gonna need a teddy bear in the hospital, for sure. You know, um, this is no game for me. I don't play this. You know, this is not a game. I always tell my baby, Daddy, coming home, and when you find the bronze bomber, these guys know what they're getting in, themselves into. They can hear the the stories. They can hear the tales all they want. But when you get in the ring and actually feel it, that's when that's when and only when you know that what you've been hearing, what you've been saying is real. Anything about Fury in itself, his skills that concerns you? Nothing at all about him that concerns me, that scares me. You know, I'm the best in the world. I I don't think there's no other heavyweight has been through what I've been through to, to go through so many different calibers of fighters. You know, you got to keep in mind I'm 40 and over 39 KOs. You know, I'd have been in multiples of countries. I done fought multiples of styles. You know, I done fought multiples of opponents. I've seen nearly about every style there is to see, you know, especially from different regions. You know, if you understand the regions of style, where they come from, all of them going to have the same type of style. But it's only how you critique that style in your own way. You know, just like me being American, we like the bang, but I have a different style that I add to my banging. You know, it's an awkward style and everybody else, too. So that's the unique thing about me. And my Olympic experience have prepared me for so many different styles. Safe to say this is the tallest fighter you'll be stepping into the ring with? This is definitely would be the tallest fighter um, uh, besides uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin uh, Price. Kevin Price, he was a much taller guy than I, and he had way longer arms than I as well, too. And we all know what happened. Timber! Deontay, uh, we know you're a great boxer, a great warrior. But the last fight, you showed to the world that you have a great heart too. What we can expect against Fury? Most definitely. You know, uh, Ortiz was uh, considered the boogeyman of the sport, and I could definitely understand why he never got a title fight um, in his in his life. No one wanted to give him that that uh, that opportunity. But you know, I'm a type of guy that like to bless people with opportunity. Um, I saw he as I saw him as one of the best, and uh, at that point in time, in uh, in my career, it was. I need I needed him to to I I need to prove to the world that uh, what you've been saying about him Deontay Wilder is not scared to do so. So with him, you know, he prepared me. You know, with being Luis Ortiz, even more, you know, accelerated my confidence in this sport. You know, because he is one of the most technical fighters, uh, one of the most experienced guys with all the amateur bouts and, and, and to coming up what he is. And you know, I also wanted to bless him because nobody else wouldn't want to give him that opportunity. As a champion, everybody flees away from him. You know, so that put all my challenges. Every every fight that I fought has prepared me for this this special moment. Hey, hey, some some, some fighter is just arrogant. Hold some hold fighter is really arrogant about 50 and 0. But you have 40 and 0 and 39 knockouts. This is a record for me. What can you tell about it? I'm most definitely, man. I just want to say that uh, I'm blessed. You know, uh, my grandma said years ago that I was anointed by God, and every time she got me from school. Um, being from a spent, uh, suspended from school, whether it was fighting or anything, she always just say, God is trying to use you. You're the chosen one. I never understood that because I was a child. But once I became a man, you know, you put away childish ways and you, you start realizing things that the elders used to tell you and now it coming to pass because you didn't understand then. So you, you, you couldn't, you couldn't, you could only go so far. But I understand now, you know, wholeheartedly and I know what my position is in, in life. I know what I stand for, I know what I represent, and I'm gonna show the world what I what, what I'm gonna do. Uh, guys, I'm gonna, guys, I'm